so guys if you are uh, watching me thank you i want to take this notice to warn people again it's dark coin scam steel and uh, <laughs> if you invested in dark coin i want to feel pity and sorry for you and in case you haven't invested in dark coin scam cryptocurrency please do not <laughs> I've been talking about this dark coin scam for a very long time. Actually, ever since I started this channel, you know, I've been talking about dark coin scam. I've been talking about platinum coin scam. I've been talking about one coin scam. Um, however, some people do not believe. Some people believe. Some people do not take it serious. Um, however, I want to tell. Uh, the people watching me that not all cryptocurrency scams come openly to reflect themselves as scams they are scams that actually cover themselves and it's very hard for you to tell if they are scams or not especially if something bad has not yet happened to them you know um so that's why some people actually uh, have a very difficult time to get to know that dark coin is a scam, platinum coin is a scam, or one coin is a scam, because they actually work under hidden agendas. So it's not a direct scam that it will come under ICO, collect your money, pew, then the website will disappear. No, no, that's how not these people work. They work in a very, very careful way, and actually they are able to sustain themselves for quite a very very long time okay so if you happen to be one of the people who actually heard about dark coin late 2017 you definitely know what i'm talking about that dark coin did not just start you know 2018 or 19 no it started far away back in 2000 actually if it is not 16 then it is 17 16 17 it started then you know promising people heaven and earth you know but right now it's 2021 but dark coin does not have an exchange there is that that they call an exchange tripex hey <laughs> but it doesn't work it doesn't work if it is working it is working for maybe some people in the european union and then with particular credentials you know so definitely it's not helping investors it's not helping its users and the users are stuck with the variable so-called dark coins that they have so today i want us to talk about this that i actually happened to see on the dark coin uh, facebook page they said that they actually have 2.8 billion dark coins in saturation okay uh, they say that they have 2.8 billion dark coin within the people's wallets and you know that's what people are actually holding right now uh and this has happened in a period of 17 18 19 20. Oh, those are four years okay let's say four years or five years four years okay let's count 217 up to 220 220 actually not even 221 okay okay four years four years generally in four years they've been able to distribute 2.8 billion dark coins okay and apparently according to what they say they say that in their wallet in their main wallet they actually have only 3 billion dark coins remaining so if they were able to distribute 2.8 billion coins in a period of four years and right now they have 3.3 3 billion their coins left in their wallet main wallet whatever system it means that it is going to take them extra five years for them to distribute those 30 billion coins that they have to distribute before they do what i don't know so you still have 3.3 billion dark coins in your system before you do what you want it to get into saturation uh -uh, and after what will you do <laughs> that you've not done in the last years you know that is also a question to ask ourselves you know you still have three 
billion dark coins. So what? To do what? Mm -hmm. So if you distribute it, uh -huh, so what? I want you to look at this strong factor that they have been able to distribute 2.8 billion dark coin in a period where actually people still have too much hope when the concept is new, when they still have too much hope, when they think that actually in the next two, three years, actually it will blast, it will be into $20 value, $50 value. But Jay, dark coin is still in a decimal value for years. And remember, it doesn't get low. It only goes up. It, it never goes down. It never goes down. It only goes up. <laughs> but in a period of four years, they've been able to make it. Is it $0.3? dollars? It's still in cents. So in a period where people have too much hope, in a period where people too have too much energy to support your crypto, they've been able to distribute only 2.8 billion coins. However, this brings me to another question. Dark coin has a total supply of 9 billion coins. So if you've already distributed 2.8 and you still say that you have 3 billion coins to distribute, what about the rest? Because this is 3, 2, this is 5.8. 5 5.8, you know, 9 billion minus 5.8. Isn't that like uh, 3.8? What is the math? Hmm? 9 minus 5, uh, that is 3. I think, I, I think that is something like um, 3. 3.2. 3.2 something billion coins. So, what about the rest of the coins? What are we, what is going to happen to those billions? Is it administration coins? Is it um you didn't do airdrops? Is it coins for the administrators? What, what is it for? Okay, so after you distribute the three point the three billions in the next ten years, what will happen that you've not been able to do now? So you can't do an exchange because the 30 billions have not been distributed yet. Okay. There is something you guys that do not understand with this MLM thing. Is it about the company to sell the coins and take the cash? Or it's about the, the audience to saturate the coins within themselves? What is it? What's the aim of this? Is it about the company? taking cash from the people so that it sells you the coins. So until these are done, you will not let people circulate coins among themselves or trade coins among themselves. What's the reason behind this? Are the people buying coins from you and give you the very less fiat money that you call very less? Because <laughs> you people, you people, you people, there is something unique here. Okay, so it's about people giving you their cash and you giving them with your coins that are actually worth nothing, that they can't do anything with them. It's now four years, they can't do anything with them, not exchange them for anything, not buy anything. Hey, you people, you people, you people, you people. Remember, when people are actually investing in different cryptocurrencies, they have the hope and the reasons. So if I invest in expecting an increase in value or whatsoever or an exchange for another fiat, and you bring a marketplace where I have to buy shoes, pads, condoms, radios, <laughs> used stuff, used clothes, it's unfair, it's unfair. It's unfair. It's not fair at all. So my name is Daniel Leonard. Stay away from dark coin. If you haven't invested in dark coin, there are a lot of decentralized cryptocurrencies right there on the coin market cap. Actually, the top 30 or top 20, at least invest in those. I'm not saying that it's 100% a guarantee that the crypto there, it will not collapse. But at least, at least, you're not becoming a fool. You're not becoming a fool and you, 
you know, you are at least on a bigger chance for you to actually succeed. But if you invest in Dow coin with these old critics and all this stuff going on, then it will be your own problem. Don't invest in Dow coin. Don't invest in one coin. Don't invest in Bretton coin. Don't invest in anything MLM fishy. If you see something MLM, ah! MLM. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you see anything to do with MLM in those stuff, please do not invest. Daniel and that is my name. Thanks for watching me. Thanks for liking my video. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs> my sponsors, Dev Smith, thank you. Jamie Barrett, thank you. Mr. Kiku, thank you. Mwah, thank you so much. Jean Mark Adam is working on one coin law suit. Okay, one coin lawsuit where one coin victims will actually claim the money that is on different one coin bank account that was freezed there. So we are working with law companies with okay, we are finalizing it. So if you invested in one coin and they actually want to claim your investment back, trust me, it is going to happen and we are working intensely on it. So if you are interested to be part of us, please. Click in the description and find there a link to our Facebook One Coin Low Suit group and also our Telegram One Coin group. Please ensure that you get information regarding One Coin Low Suit group from Daniel Lainat or actually Jen Mark Adam or other few people responsible for this program. Do not be scammed with people who claim that they will actually get your investment back. No, 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 no. Bye for now. Peace.